I'll get my hips off the floor and just hip into him. We need to switch to a regular X guard with a scoop on the leg. So the way we do it is I cup around his knee, I bring this arm in, swim in it inside, swim in my elbow inside and get into this position. I open his knee up and pinch my elbow towards my ribs. As he goes to back step, I need to beat him to it and come up. As I come up, I'm basically on my inside shoulder with my chest facing the floor. Hey, what's happening today? Um, we're gonna look at um, um, leg lock from a uh, backside 50-50. Uh, entry through an X guard. Okay, so we have uh, right in my X guard. We'll start. Let's face that. Oh, we'll start with an over wrap on the X guard, as if we entered from uh, maybe single leg X or something like that. And we'll just explain the transition. So this is the uh, modified X guard from here. Uh, we're looking to do numerous things. Maybe uh, sweep him backwards if he stands straight. Maybe uh, extend him and start coming up, um, but for today we're going to want his hands on the floor, which is pretty much where he wants his hands in order to start back stepping, etc, etc. Uh, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to switch grip first from over wrap to an under, to a scoop, like an underhook on his leg. So what I'm going to do is grab around his knee here, because when I release, I don't want him to uh, get his leg up. So if I, if I release without it, he's just going to pull his leg away, right? So I'm going to secure his leg by gripping behind his knee around the tendons over here. Then I'm gonna swim my arm inside, not like that, just simply swim my elbow in and scoop under. I wanna put his, his ankle here between my, uh, my shoulder and my neck and my hand is gonna cup around his knee. I'm gonna pinch my elbow a little bit. By this, doing this, I'm opening his knee up so it doesn't uh, just kneel down into my chest or something like that. So from here, we're in a classic X guard, okay? So now what we want to do for the following is I want his hands on the floor. So I'm going to use my left knee behind his hamstring and push him forward basically with my knee. Now from here, we're going to shoot, shoot it from another angle as well. But from here, I'm going to bring the leg that's uh, hooking behind his knee on this side. I'm going to put it in his armpit. I'm gonna push off a little bit and hip escape. Now I'm gonna put this foot on behind that knee. I'm gonna ax down with this leg behind this hamstring as I'm transferring the foot to the other side into my armpit. The toes go straight into my armpit. From here, I turn to my side and I secure the knee on this side of my hips, okay? It's gonna be inside my knee line. If his knee goes out, go ahead and pull your knee out, please. If his knee goes out, that whole leg lock situation is gone for me, okay? So I need to secure and make sure that this knee is on the floor. Even if it's on the floor, I mean, as long as it's inside my knee line. From here, with this foot on this side in my armpit, I go into the finishing. From here, he has options. We'll explore in just a second, okay? So let's go back and do that from another angle. So we're in modified X guard. We need to switch to a regular X guard with a scoop on the leg. So the way we do it is I cup around his knee, I bring this arm in, swim in it inside, swim in my elbow inside and get into this position. I open his knee up and pinch my elbow towards my ribs. By doing so, I'm uh, preventing him from putting the knee down. Try and put your knee into my chest. It's pretty hard. Okay. From here, we have numerous things we can do. We can uh, sweep him backwards. If he stands like this, we can uh, push forward and technical stand up. Uh, but for today, we're going to put his hands on the floor if he doesn't do so himself already. So I'm going to use my left knee, the one behind his hamstring, and I'm going to push him down from here. Right away, I extract this foot before he starts working on my hooks. I'm going to extract it and put it in his armpit. Push off and keep escape. Now, I'm going to Put my foot on the other behind his other knee. I'm gonna transfer, start transferring the foot to, to the outside into my armpit and bringing this leg over his hamstring. Now I want to make sure his knee stays here between my um, between my knees and my uh, chest. 
So I'm in front of my uh, groin essentially. And now I'm gonna go into the finishing. Okay, one more time from a different angle. We're in the X guard. We switch to a, or we're in modified X guard, we switch to a classic X guard here. Now we have different options for today. I'm gonna put his hands on the floor. Foot in his armpit, foot on the knee, behind the knee. Leg around, transfer the foot to the other side. And finish. Now, one step. When I go into the, the position here, what Brian should be doing already is backstepping. Before I even put my uh, put his foot in my armpit, he should be backstepping already. So let's say he does that. We're gonna land in a 50-50. Okay. The previous position is called backside 50-50. This is a this is a regular classic 50-50. The problem here for me is that I'm on my back, laying down on my on my back. Even if I start recovering, that gives him enough time to start working on my hands. Let's turn. That gives him plenty of time to start working on my hands, and I've lost the, the submission. Okay. So what I want to do instead is as as he goes to back step, I need to beat him to it and come up. As I come up, I'm basically on my inside shoulder with my chest facing the floor as much as possible. And I'm framing here with my shin and my shoelaces into his ribs with my shin across. So when I have the grip on his heel and he goes to, um, he goes to work on the arms, it's going to be very hard to do anything. I'm going to finish here by hitting him. So right now I'm gonna put my hips, get my hips off the floor. We'll shoot that from another angle. I'll get my hips off the floor and just hip into him. And that secures the finish. Let's do the, just the finishing sequence from here. So we're on the X guard, put his hands on the floor, a hip escape, bring the, this here, he turns. I beat him as he turns. I come up to my elbow and my uh, uh, basically framing on his body. So I want to be in this position with my hips off the floor. My hips are on the floor, I'm going to be basically facing towards the ceiling. I need to be chest facing towards the floor as much as possible and I'm laying down on my inside shoulder. He starts disconnecting my arms and working on them. There is a solid frame here between us. He needs to really stretch himself. Now he can't work on both arms or even on the, the near arm because of our positioning, body positioning, and then I just hip into his knee. It's a relatively easy finish if you're in a right position. So we need to uh, basically work on mostly creating space between us through the frames and uh, pointing the chest towards the floor as he back steps. Okay? Now, um, the, if in order for him to prevent him from backstepping, there is a, a way to do that. And, a, and it's relatively easy to prevent him from backstepping. Excuse me. As we're here, don't go backstepping yet so you don't hurt yourself. As we're here, as we go into that, I'm going to do the exact same thing as what I did on the other side. I'm going to go chest down towards the floor, right here. If I do that, you can see uh, that I'm. I'm basically on my inside shoulder here and I'm almost facing towards the floor. And he starts backstepping now, he's gonna bust his knee. All my weight is down this way, okay? It's gonna be very hard, even if I let go of this foot, it's gonna be very hard for him to do anything. He, he puts his foot back because he puts the pressure on his knee as he backsteps. So, this is a great thing to practice in light drills, but um, th this particular part of the, the submission. If you're in the training room, and you're with training partners, I would not recommend, I would rather recommend you go for the back step, let them back step and then finish rather than prevent them from back stepping because they, they, must buzz, they might buzz their knee as, as they go. Okay, so um, this is a inside heel hook from a backside 50-50 starting with the X guard. All right, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Uprise MMA. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.